The next phase of the experiment is to integrate these XPath queries into our Python program and extract the data using our own code. To achieve that, I will be using a module called LXML. It is uh, free and open source. Uh, you can go to lxml.de. Uh, you will see download links as well as the installation instructions. I won't cover the installation at this point. I will just assume that uh, you know how to make it happen. So the recommended way is to do this with easy install. In any case, um, if it was installed properly, then you go to your Python uh, console and type import LXML and it won't throw you any errors. It means, <laughs> sorry, I'm just laughing because of this uh, <laughs> message here. Uh, okay, so if there were no exceptions <laughs> when you import the module, uh, all went well. Otherwise, if you import something which doesn't really exist, uh, Python will tell you that there is no such module. I'm going to back to the previous uh, console that uh, contains our old data. This is the HTML page. And I wish to remind you that it's kept inside uh, a variable which I named page. So if I, oh, it isn't. Okay, then I will have to load it uh, from the text file. So the page is I'm going to read from D. Test quote. Quote.txt. Read. Okay, so there we go. Um, this is the text of our HTML page. Not very easy to read. I'm going to import LXML. It works as expected. Mm -hmm. And now let's actually put it to some uh, use. So the first step. Mm, is to initialize it with uh, an element tree uh, object, but we have some uh, problems here. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's try that again. I'm going to call my object X and feed it with the page I got at the input. Okay, all went well. Uh, now let's see how to run one of those queries. You do that this way, using a function called path, and at the input you give it the xpath query. So I'm just going to copy and paste it from here. The function is called xpath. All right, so you see that uh, we have our quote. Let's test the other queries. We have a syntax problem here. Uh -huh. And it happens because we have these quotes here. Uh, and typically we use quotes uh, for strings. The good news is that in Python we can combine them. So I'm just going to use double quotes for the argument of the 
xpath function and I'm going to use quotes, single quotes here uh, inside the query itself. And uh, the return result is this one, but notice that it's a list because we have this uh, square parenthesis. It's a list, we need just the string itself so we can um, access the zeroth element, but this is not the uh, most elegant way to do this. So I'm going to slightly modify the query and call the string function. Okay, now we have just uh, just the string, no list. So I'm going to make an update here and I will change this for single quotes and I will apply the same change here. Now let's try this with the category. It works, but again, it gave us a list, so we're going to have to wrap this into the string function of xpath. All right, so now it works as we expect. I'm going to update this one here as well. I guess at this point, uh, we can try to write a function which will uh, extract all the data for us. This is how it works. Get uh, data from page. We'll give it our uh, HTML page at the input. Huh. All right. So the quote will be set to. this hmm. ah of course I have to escape the string but now I have to go back to my function definition okay here we go Yeah, now the author is going to be xxpath. This is our xpath query for the author. And the category is xxpath. And then I paste the query for the category. Okay. Here we go. Um, now I will keep the results in a dictionary. So the result will be an empty dictionary. Then I will set the result of quote this quote the result of author this author and the result for uh, category is category and then return result okay now I'm going to test this function this way, get data from page and give it our page. Uh, here we go. Uh, the category is love, uh, the quote is blah, 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 and the author is Marcel Proust. Uh, basically, we have our dictionary, uh, which contains all the data we need. Now, uh, we're going to take a short break. 
and continue in the other video uh, where I will take this function and use it as a module, uh, as a piece of a puzzle to build a bigger program which automates more of our actions. See you soon.